So one of the things that um, I think kind of prepared the way for my ascension process was um, that I, because I was in states of just distress and confusion perpetually during uh, the times of, of when my parents were falling apart, um, some of my coping strategies aside from music, which is always my number one, was that I was listening to podcasts. And um, I was listening to, I think, uh, mostly conspiracy theories, quite honestly. And I've not been a person that really spends a lot of time putting energy into conspiracy theories or theorists because usually they come from a perspective of of fear or or anger or us them victimhood kind of thing and I don't really like that space and um, but I think that because I was feeling in many ways victimized by my circumstances it somehow aligned with something for me and this was thankfully thankfully this was a very temporary passing through that uh, space instead of staying there some people call them little like spiritual growth cul-de-sacs where you get stuck in a, a certain space and you can't like get out of it so some people get obsessed with like just tarot cards or just Ouija boards or just you know fairies and they stay there and they don't really like create a big um, net for themselves of interest where they can just like dip from here and here and here and like create their own little thing and And uh, at the time, I was really interested, I think, in just hearing the theories for state of argument and and what their arguments were, because I I did appreciate a good argument at the time. Um, Lights are flickering. (laughs) So talk about the fourth dimension, of course, of course, in my side note, in my family. So my my mother's biological father passed away when she was four years old, and so I never met him, and I don't, I don't think she has any memory of, definitely she doesn't now, but um, his name was Albert, and uh, the pictures of him that we've seen, I mean, he, he was from Germany, I believe, and, and uh, he looks a lot like my mom, it looked exactly like my uncle Clyde, who I adored, and so... Um, but I, when I was going through their estate, my parents' estate and like scouring through all the photos and stuff, also looking for pictures of, of this biological grandfather, Albert. And so my daughter and I, during this time when we were kind of, uh, I was looking through, um, conspiracies and also fourth dimensional stuff is related to like ghosts and things. (laughs) Uh, we every time that light flickers we're like hi Albert or she goes like that's her like what up Albert kind of thing so the flickering what up Albert um and also I have lots of experience with ghosts I have not personally spoken to Albert but my daughter feels connected to him anyway these conspiracy theories are very fourth dimensional in that they're they're kind of uh, they're dark they're a little dark they're a little dreary they're a little uncomfortable and it's not that I am not okay with that because I've just been there so long but um so I'm not knocking it some people that's their cul-de-sac and they are in it to stay and that's fantastic we need to have people that do all the work but um when I when I had my kundalini rising one of the things that really I think helped me along in the process was I'm, I'm really thankful for uh the channel Gaia that has a lot of different programming around uh, the wooey stuff and it really speaks to any interest I mean it's got everything from the conspiracy theorists talking about alien disclosure to uh, just samadhi the moment of peace that you find in meditation like it's it's got all levels and what I found to be really resonant for myself at that time that I think helped me foundationally on a on a level of logic that I needed that I I really really resonated with was a show called Initiation. Not knowing really what it would be about, I 
I loved concepts surrounding time and quantum physics and dimensions and things of that nature. When I first saw the movie Interstellar, I choke sobbed because it felt resonant with me in a way that was uh, almost like home when they discussed time. And um, so when I was, you know, on apps, they'll suggested for you kind of thing, like on Amazon Prime or something, on Gaia, it was suggested for me, it was like, maybe I want to say it was new at the time or it had just come out, but it was called Initiation with a gentleman named Matthias De Stefano. And he, in this show, the premise is that he was born without a veil and he remembered past lives and he was able to always communicate with other beings that uh, taught him about other times in other places, uh, either in other space systems and on the planet. And it was really like kind of out there for me at the time, but I, I also don't judge. Like I know I don't know everything. So I'm always like, let me learn more. And so I just went in into it full in. I'm like, I didn't have a veil either. And as he was talking, about things and his experiences as a child, I related to it so much because like not only when I was a kid and I, I used to see all the horrible images of demonic beings in my head, but I also like sometimes my bed would simply just shake. Um, I would lay in bed and it would just shake, like vibrate violently and I'm laying in it and <laughs> this is terrifying and um that I I felt ghosts at sleepovers I I was always dealing with that stuff so the fact that he was on this show and he was talking about stuff I had experienced I was like yes sir tell me more and um he was um born and raised in Argentina and he was supported by a single mom that didn't have a uh any kind of dogmatic structure. Conversely, young Miss Audrey Mitchell was in Boise, Idaho, going to like non-denominational kind of Pentecostal church and uh, terrified all the time about like the second coming, post-tribulation rapture, Armageddon, the trumpet sounding, demon possession, all sorts of stuff. And so that I'm sure highly influenced everything that I perceived in my third eye and so but just watching this show he goes into every dimension um and in doing so he's doing it with geometry he's doing it with science he's doing it with all of these perspectives i could just totally get behind not to mention um like I, I almost felt shocked he was able to share everything he was sharing without being edited because some of it seemed so incredibly vitally important that he would want to protect it and, and not let just anyone hear it. But then I realized much later, which will become a joke on this ch channel, is that you're not able to receive, understand, or integrate any information that is beyond your vib vibrational frequency, like none. And so if you can't do that, everything that you hear that is possibly like groundbreaking, should be a secret that you need a special handshake for, right over your head. And so it would go on and on and on <laughs> among me and some close friends of, I'm like, oh, so I saw this show called Initiation by Matthias De Stefano. Have you ever heard it before? And they're like, no, that's crazy. Because every time I watched it, it was like the first time. <laughs> and so that was almost like happening parallel to this, ironically, because it's initiation. So that kind of means you're going through an ascension process. I'm watching initiation. I'm going through ascension. And um, I learned, I learned the, the provable elements of what I was experiencing about uh, spirituality, time and space, internalized understandings of myself as a, as a clairvoyant person that wasn't tuned into that skill yet, 
um, but it was turned on, I wasn't tuned into it. And so, um, gosh, I was just so blessed to have that as a resource. And um, I'd really highly recommend it to anybody who's like, on the precipice or a seeker or any of that and you know right away if it's the right thing for you or not and I always tell folks that I'm, I'm working with and their spiritual their spirituality and their spiritual journey is if it doesn't resonate with you that is like just don't just don't you're not ready for it yet or it's not even your truth like we all have our own different perspectives of truth and I'm not here to like force my opinion on anybody at all because that's the opposite me I'm all about damn the man you know so <laughs> do what feels right and um but it's a suggestion and it's it's one that uh resonates with me anyway so happy viewing initiation